Welcome to Unit 7, Lesson 2. This is Piano Chording Level 2 from PianoVideoLessons.com. And in this lesson, we're going to review all of the major and minor triads, and we're going to use the circle of fifths as our reference to review these. So let's start off with the first chord, and you can see I've written them out here with notation. We're just going to refer to them here in the circle as well. So we have zero sharps in the key of C, so when we play this triad, we play it with C, E, and G. Then we can move around to the next chord in the circle, which is the G chord. And the only sharp in the key of G is F sharp, so there is no F in our hand position, so there's no sharp in this chord, G, B, D. Moving around, we go to D, so this chord has an F sharp in the middle. Moving around to A, we have a sharp in the middle here as well. Moving around to E, sharp in the middle. Now if you remember from uh, piano chording level one, we called this group of chords the hamburgers. The D, the A, and the E. We call these hamburgers because they have a black key in the middle. Just like a hamburger is got white on the outside, like the buns with a dark color on the inside, which is the patty. And we call this group up here the snowmen, because all of the keys you play are white. So let's keep going. We got to this hamburger here, E major, and then we move over to this note here, which is a B, and in this chord we have one white and two black, and we call these ones the killer Bs because they have this uh, one white with two blacks. The next chord that we move to here has two names. It can be called F sharp, or it can be called G flat because this black key is either F sharp or G flat. So here we have it, F sharp major or G flat major. And we call this one chocolate because the whole chord is black, dark chocolate. And then we can move over to the next chord here where we have D flat. And this is a new group again. This group starts in on the group of Black on the outside, white in the middle. We call those ones Oreo cookies. Now, if you want to review this, I do recommend that you go back to um, lesson one of unit five, chording level one. So here we have D flat, and then A flat, and then E flat. And these all have the white in the middle and black on the outside. And then we're back to B flat. This is the last chord and last note we played. And we have B flat with two white keys. So this is another killer B because it's a B flat. So these all relate to the, the, the scales that they're found in. And we talked a bit about that in when we uh, discovered the circle of fifths in lesson one. So we can now look on the inside of this circle and see that we have minor chords on the inside, or minor scales even. We're just going to concern ourselves with chords for today because we're going to be using them to, when we play our next piece of music. We're going to be playing chords using a lead sheet. So C major, I'm just going to play this with my right hand, is relative to A minor. And you can see here that the distance between C and A is it skips down two keys. So I skipped this white key, and I skipped this black key, and I landed on A. And that's going to be consistent around the whole circle. We're going to always be um, a skip down. Now, the notes of the A minor chord are exactly the same notes of the C major chord, except we don't use the top one. So A on the bottom with these two notes from the C triad. And if we go around the circle of fifths, well, I'm actually going to use the notes that are here in case you're following along by reading the notes. From A minor to E minor, now we're going to go up a fifth, and we're going to use the remaining notes from the G chord. That's E minor, and it's written out here. Now we're going to move on to B minor. So we've got B, and the other two notes that go with the B are D and F sharp. Those are the first two notes of your D major chord. So here's what it sounds like. And then we have F sharp, and we can build an F sharp minor chord by playing A and C sharp. And then we have C sharp minor, and we can build that by playing E and G sharp on top. Oh, I missed it. C sharp playing E and G sharp on top. It was crazy, I played an F in there. And we have C sharp minor. Then we can move to G sharp minor, 
So I'm gonna take it down here, G sharp, play it with B and D sharp. That's G sharp minor. Then we have D sharp minor. We play that with F sharp and A sharp. D sharp minor, and these are all written out over here. We can also call that um, we can call that E flat minor, E flat, G flat, B flat. So for referencing the G flat major scale, we'll call it E flat minor, and if we're referencing the C sharp scale, we'll call it minor. Um, the only difference is whether or not the scale has sharps or flats in it. If the scale has flats, we're playing E flat. If the scale has sharps, we're playing D sharp. It's the only difference. Okay, moving around some more, B flat. Minor is gonna use D flat and F. So B flat minor, okay, so we're gonna find that on here. And continuing to move, we have F minor, which is gonna use A flat and C, you can find it here. And then we're gonna move to C minor, which is gonna play C, E flat, and G. And then G minor, we use B flat and D. And D minor, which uses D, F, and A. So if you want to follow the circle around, you can do it that way. Or if you want to use the chart here, the, the written out music on the staff, you can play it from here. So let's just quickly do that once. Here we have the C triad, C, E, G. So these ones are major, this top half. Then we have G major. Then we have D major. Then we have A major. Then we have E major. Then we have B major killer B, and we have chocolate F sharp major, or G flat major, and moving around then we have D flat and C sharp, same thing, A flat, we have E flat, and we have B flat, and then we have F. So we've completed the circle of majors, now we're going to switch to minors, we're going to have A minor, and then E minor, and then B minor. F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and here we have G sharp minor, E flat, also known as D sharp minor, and continuing on we have B flat minor, and then F minor, C minor, G minor, and D minor. So this is all the major and minor triads, and it's a good idea to practice these. You can practice them with both hands, because sometimes we'll play chord notes in the right hand as well. Although the left hand generally looks after the harmony, sometimes it is done with the right hand. All right, so that's all of the major and minor triads reviewed from you know, lessons one and three in unit five. And we're going to move on to lesson three now, and we're going to be learning to play Auld Lang Syne, which is a really popular piece that's played at on New Year's. So let's have a look, and I'll see you in lesson three. Thanks for watching.